Hello. <coughs> okay. Hey guys, we're back with um, game started game three here. We've got um, Hayes and Bill Kafer are going to be our pairings for game three, or at least sorry, our feature match for game three. I believe Bill is playing light side and Hayes is playing dark side, but I want to confirm that before. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Luke's. Uh, five month streak, getting there. Once you get up to six months, twelve months, there's some foils and what have you. So yeah, Bill is here at the bottom. Both of these players are two and zero, oh, and this is the, the the top table, so to speak. That was Worf's. All mine are over here. Oh. Or it was it was someone else. I think it was Harpster. What happened to Dan? Dan is right in front of me right now. He just he took a break to do some prize support related stuff. I I imagine he'll be back during this game or something. So it's all right. We'll do we'll do we'll do it with what we have. Definitely seen some close games as I was watching the end of that that first or sorry, that second game. This game, these uh, I've seen Lee Edwards and um, whoever his opponent was in game two, Clay Clay Atkins, I think Clay Atkins. He uh, they had a, a lost pile situation uh, with a tie on the timed win kind of thing. So it's it's been a really close tournament. Hey. Killer Kiwi, we're doing well, man. Sorry you couldn't make it to nationals. Uh, this would have been uh, a great, uh, a great tournament for you to show up at. But we're we're having a great time. We're kicking some butt, getting the stream going. Um, it was uh, it was a process. We haven't we were so used to getting the streams going for you know every three months, four months or so for a couple of years there. But me and Dan had a few technical difficulties getting everything going. Um, we had to replace a cord last night that our HDMI cord uh, broke in shipping, and uh, that was fun. So um, we had to go out and get a new one of those 60-something footer. And uh, oh, happy birthday! Also, by the way, Kyle Kraft is going to show up. He's an old, old school name. You're going to be on TV, Hayes, for Game Three okay. against Bill. <laughs> he seems very excited. Are they switching sides? Yeah, that's why Endor's so great, uh, Brandon, because you're there to uh, help us with the... Uh, <laughs> you're much better at cameras and stuff than we are. But we got it. Obviously, we got it working. Um, things look pretty good. A little bit of glare, but <clears throat> nothing's ever perfect. So we're, uh, we're doing the best we can with what we have, so to speak. Um... Looks like Bill has switched to being the top side player, which is annoying. Bill's playing a let the Wookiee win start. So I'm gonna switch the names because I'm pretty sure I thought Bill was all set up to go on that side and then he switched sides. Alright, cool. Glad you'll be at Worlds. I'm definitely going to try to get to Worlds as well, because Worlds is always super fun. Give him hell, Hayes!
Yeah, that's one of the participation foils. That's a Luke Skywalker Rebellion's Hope, or whatever the card is called. Uh, alternate image, where he's kind of like a Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper um, suit on, or whatever. So, it's a cool AI. So yeah, I don't think I got one of those in my stack yet, but I have got the other um, AI participation foil. It's uh, Jin Erso. Apparently this is the Jin Erso themed tournament because there's all sorts of Jin Erso prizes going on. We have play mats, we have t-shirts, we have all, all sorts of uh, interesting things. So definitely always one of the best things about showing up in person is you get uh, get the participation uh, foils. No matter how good you do, we, we make sure you go home with some really cool stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Dan's doing. So, I'll just, I'll take it solo, you know? It's no worries. Spending uh, eight games next to the same person is, uh, does tend to get tiring, so. Uh, always nice to have a little bit of a break. Ryan Saracen has the buy. I guess I could uh, I could uh, conscript him into doing uh, commentary like we did with Werfs for the last game. What kind of decks are we seeing so far? So on stream we've seen uh, No Idea uh, and Old Allies on light side, and we've seen Set Your Course and um, Map for dark side so far. Inside the in the, the tournament room, I've seen a lot of Bring It Before Me. I've seen a couple of Shadow Collectives. I've seen um, some uh, There's Good in Him. Uh, some Let the Wookie Win starts, which I think that's kind of what um, Bill has going on here, is the Let the Wookie Win start with kind of a mains deck, like My Father Before Me. So sort of like a throne room deck without the throne room in, in a weird way. Um, so I, I was one of the decks I was kind of interested to see if people would take that new Let the Wookie Win starting Interrupt and turn it into um, basically just a mains platform by starting Chief Turpa's Hut, which then allows you <coughs> excuse me, allows you access to start Like My Father Before Me, since they made it restricted to having an Endor um, location on the table or whatever. So... Um, but then Hayes has slip sliding away. Um, uh, no, I did not. Uh, so Hayes has slip sliding away with his bring in before me start, and um, he pulls the Endor two one for dark side. So that's probably a battleground they're going to be fighting over. Bill does get the three um, PO puller in his starting hand, gets three PO. Hayes pulls the Emperor's power with the throne room. So yeah, here is, uh, I got my AI of the Luke Skywalker, Rebellion's Hope. Like I say, he's kind of got a Stormtrooper suit on, and uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty cool AI foil. The, uh, the hair looks pretty good on Luke. Alright, so now Hayes is going to activate. A lot of times with Bring Him Before Me, you... Um, you basically pull the um, Emperor to the throne room, put Emperor's power down, and usually that might be about it. Starting effects for Hayes are uh, something special planned for them, your destiny, I am your father, and insignificant rebellion, or whatever that one's called. Hayes does have some shiny gray sleeves. Got Forlom. Okay, so it goes with Forlom to the throne room as well. Sort of a similar 3PO thing like Bill Kafer pulled with his first action. Bill's going to take his first turn here.
Probably looking for a docking bay of some sort. It's hard to tell Bill's starting effects, but I think it's Walkling, like my father before me, and then Insurrection Aim High. Yep, security precautions. Thanks, uh, Bastion. So. Oh, the Jedi Council chamber comes out with the speak with the Jedi Council. Yeah, this basically just looks kind of like a throne room deck from Bill, but using, like, my Let the Wookiee Win and uh, Chief Turpus Hut and going second. <laughs> Freepio goes down to the docking bay. Use 3PO. <laughs> yeah, restraining bolts. Doesn't get seen as often. I remember back in Legacy, there was some card that lets you, like, reveal a device from use pile and add its destiny number to your power or something. Restraining Bolt got played a lot more back then when you could, if you didn't need it, you could, like, basically use it as a Destiny 6 to add to your power sometimes. That was a cool card. I can't remember what it was. Like, I want to say it was, like, Weapon Levitation Combo or something. And... Looks like the Emperor that um, Hayes is pulling is the new Emperor. With bring him before me. And he also got the blockade flagship bridge with the Accelerate. <coughs> So yeah, now Hayes has the uh, the Emperor set up, which... Levitation attack. Thank you, Gogol. I knew it had the word le levitation in it. So, I, I was in the ballpark, right? So the Emperor just gets you more cards. You can draw a card from the bottom of your force pile or whatever every turn. So definitely seeing some bring in before me's with this new Emperor. Uh, Gogolin, did you miss Kevin being streamed yet? Yes, Kevin was on our last game. He was uh, he beat Kyle Kruger with the old allies deck against Kyle Kruger's uh, set your course for Alderan, like matching ships kind of thing. So yeah, Kevin is two and and he was on, we got him on pretty early. So, honestly, that Kevin Shannon versus Kyle Kruger matchup, that that was one I couldn't turn down for the second game just because, you know, I've been playing this game for a long time too, and uh, those two guys have been good for a really long time. Well, yeah, Gogolin, just make sure to, uh, we'll get all these games individually posted onto YouTube like we, all, we always try to do, or you can also just go back when there's maybe a break in the action and check out the... Uh, check out the the last hour or so it's been a weird day already we had fire alarm go off which cost us probably about 20 minutes or so and uh yeah so we're just getting back you back in this dan i'm back all right which one is which one is yours well, i guess i have this one you might have gotten unplugged i think worth stepped on some cords Didn't get what? He didn't get the Han, the, the Luke. What do you mean the Han or the Luke? The like foils or? Huh. Ryan Searson's on the buy. Oh. Okay. Okay. Try it. So what have I missed? <clears throat> so Hayes is playing Bring Him Before Me. This turn he put out the Blizzard 4 and used it to pull Arica. Um, he's got the Emperor and Forlom at the... Death Star 2 throne room. Really, Bill's just done 3PO 
and uh, gotten out the Jedi Council Chamber in a couple docking bays. So, pretty much haven't missed. Uh, so haven't missed too much. So bring, bring him, him before me versus what? <clears throat> versus let the Wookiee win. Uh, Chief Chirpa's hut start. <laughs> so Bill's Bill started with Chief Chirpa's hut and the Kashik location on the table. He's got like my father before me, Walkling, and Insurrection Aim High. So it's sort of like a throne room deck without the throne room, really. That's so here comes fair. a EPP Obi Wan to fight Lizard Four and Arica. See what else Bill backs that up with. He also goes with Anakin. Anakin, that's the AI Anakin, right? Yes. So how about Mass Sperling playing Set Your Course with tractor beams and a homing beacon? Okay. He's played his first. So his first light side opponent was Diplo. His second dar- uh, light side opponent, Diplo. So is he like capturing the Tantive and shit? Yep. Okay. All right. That's so, clever. If, if you I'm grow, expecting if you run to see Diplo. I'm expecting Sperling to be at least two and one. He did lose one of his. I can't remember which one he lost, but he said he was one and one when I lost. Yeah, it was. He lost with his light side, which so was that was away. a force field and a grab by Bill. He must have tried to swing Obi Wan's lightsaber at Arca. Force field came out and then was immediately grabbed. Yeah, that is a, a pretty cool Anakin uh, AI. <clears throat> that one's one you can just print out. As far as I know, it's not one that's like. It's a, actually it's one of the ones that you 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 can print it out on the. Uh, the V kit, you, you can print out certain AIs that the graphics department has released so far, but it is on the V kit. You can print it out. So Hayes loses a uh, force to add a destiny. Uh, there you go. Thanks, Ming. Ming coming through. He's pretty good at that. Yeah. Bill draws a five for Battle Destiny, which Anakin will make a six. Hayes draws a four, and then a Newt Gunray, which I think is a three or a two. So one of the characters for light side will die, and one of the characters or vehicles for dark side will die. Bill does have to stack a force because he lost the battle for Bring Him Before Me, so there's a card on uh, Insignificant Rebellions. Yeah, no problem, Drelak. We're here to, to help you out. Thanks for watching today. We got... 54 viewers currently watching the stream, and we've got <clears throat> 47 players playing Star Wars cards inside the room right behind us. So today's a big day for Star Wars. It's our return to uh, in-person play and majors and, and all that good stuff. We've uh, we've really had a great time so far, and I'm glad that we're able to do this again, and uh, especially glad that it's here in Denver, Colorado, where I reside. So we're we're back, baby, and it feels great. So... Hayes uses Forlom. I'm pretty sure he got a force push from Forlom. That's always a good card. Sim Alu also goes to join uh, Emperor. Yeah, Sim's pretty good because you get that additional attrition because of him. Okay. So I don't know his text off the top of my head. I have no clue how to say your name. Hey, it's it's Straylock. That's what I said, I think. How do you say it? Draylock. Draylock. Yeah. That's at least oh, like, okay. Now that's, that's easier I than I assumed because I thought it was Dr. Alec. Oh, well, there's another A there. So that's what I was going on was the... There yeah, was Dr. A. D-A, Dr. Dr. Alac. Okay. Alac. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I'm not the best at pronunciation, but now that I know it's Draylock, I, I can say it right. It's like that doctor, doctor who only uh, sucks blood out of your neck. Dr. Acula. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Peralta. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that was Mitch Hedberg. That was a Scrubs joke. Uh, it was a Mitch Hedberg bit. They must have stole oh, it. Mitch Hedberg, Scrubs, they're he the died. same, right? He died on April Fool's Day in like yeah. 2006. I, I will say, like, I'm sad that both Joe and Kevin Shannon were on stream the last two games because they're playing right now. Oh, who's playing Kevin? It's Joe versus Joel's Kevin son? Shannon. That's an like, old school matchup. That's insane. We had our really good old school matchup last time with Kyle Kruger and Kevin Shannon, but we wouldn't want to put Kevin Shannon on twice in a row. Yeah. So. Yeah, a lot of people rip off Mitch because Mitch is was like the best stand up comedian ever. All right. So it looks like Hayes is rebattling into the Obi Wan with the uh, Blizzard Four. He draws two Destiny because yep. he. Oof. Ooh, a one from Bill. That's bad. 
One from Bill. So he's oh, like, and it becomes a zero. It becomes a zero with Dark Time. So that's really rough for Bill because then yeah. Blizzard 4 gets to stay and uh, he has to lose the Obi-Wan. And, well, I mean, Bill and might have an answer to that. Stack a card nope. because yeah. of um, Bring It Before Me. 2015 NPC final. You might be right with Kevin and Joe. Joe lose or uh, Kevin. Kyle Kruger and Kevin also had played in a World Championship final confrontation. Yeah. So and Kevin had... just beat uh, Kyle recently. So. So yeah, he had to lose Obi Wan and I think two Overflow in that battle. I mean, that could have gone a lot worse for Bill. Well, yeah. I mean, if Obi I mean, if he had an EPP to stack with it, then it would have been game over if he didn't have a Hujix, but. Two Force and Obi-Wan isn't the worst, and I guess it was one more because of the stacking a card. Mm -hmm. It really just would have been really nice for Bill to draw two <laughs> to get rid of the Blizzard 4, because that uh, that's going to sting. Yeah. I suppose he can battle back into it, but now we're just... This has been the, the, the game that has had the most battles for us so far. We've had some <laughs> stacking matchups so far. But. Well, I mean, I, I forget who said it recently, but you don't win games in Star Wars CCG if you battle. I mean, I guess it does depend on the kind of deck that you want to build, but yeah, like right now it does seem to be like selective battling, more about yeah. more about the control and, phase and the move phase than the battle phase for sure. And it's kind of interesting. These are the first two really main decks we've seen on stream. Yeah. Yeah. They're both main decks, so yeah. we should be getting battles at least. So Leia, Rebel Princess, from Bill to the um, Chief Turpa's Hut. So that will help prevent some drains going on at that Endor site. And, and that's smart because now Hayes knows that he can just simply take the cup card, put uh, Obi-Wan back into the deck to cancel the drain. So I don't. I think if you're Hayes, you don't do that Plus because you'd be paying Obi-Wan's so anyway. good. So yeah, like... See if he has a spy to go against Leia. Probably not. Looks like he's got a few characters. We'll see what he has. But yeah, there's not probably not going to be a system played in this game. So I think we're all just going to see ground characters against each other. There is a Kashik site that's a one-two that no one's deployed to yet. That Bill had to start <clears throat> with his starting interrupt. So maybe that's a place where the next action happens, mm -hmm. but Hayes wants to probably reinforce the Blizzard 4 because it's it's 8 power and a destiny, but if you put something else scary down there, then it's better. And there is Mr. Mishki himself. Hello, my glasses. <laughs> okay, Velma. Um, Alright, so we'll see what Hayes does here. Now, is battle plan or order on the table? Because I don't see it. I'm I mean, I don't guessing see any Bill. Glare. No, I guess no one's played it yet. But Bill probably will, I would guess. Who? Yeah. Maybe he wants to invite the drain so that he can retrieve the mm -hmm. Obi Wan. But and I think if you're Hayes, you don't do it. Because it would just be. Is that a, is that a drain two site? The Endor dark side site? It might be. I believe so. I want to say that's the dense forest. Something like that. It's some sort of indoor site. Nope. It's not the dense forest. I think it's a different one. Maybe it's the forest clearing. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it is a forest drain plus one there. Yeah. So it is a drain of two. <clears throat> and the Blizzard Nine there, or the Blizzard Four there, is power is power nine. Okay, that's good to know. So it looks like Hayes does a four long. It's called the Forest Clearing. Yep, thanks, Polymer. There goes Lord Maul with lightsaber to the two one Kashik site. So yeah, Hayes is just gonna spread out and make Bill clear him. He's got the two battlegrounds locked down. He didn't drain or anything. So now we'll see what Bill has. Bill's probably looking to clear or at least cover up one of these sites.
Yeah, as long as the chat loads up, I feel like it's yeah. okay not to, but yeah. I just like looking at the dark mode more than <laughs> light mode. Yeah, I definitely use dark mode for just about everything. All right, Bill, what you got this turn? Bill, the current team champion <laughs> partner of CRG. Yep, they had a good run last night, so yeah. they were able to get the mugs or the Pilsner glasses or whatever. Bill going 3-0 and with Hunt Down. Yep. CRG going 2-1 and with Profit. Yeah. And I think CRG's playing Profit again today. Okay. We haven't seen him yet today. All right, Bill, what you got, buddy? We haven't seen Luke hit the table yet, but also Vader's not on the table either, so. Mm -hmm. None of the bring him before me nonsense is going on. I feel like bring him before me and there's good in him have been pretty popular so far in the games that I've seen. Yeah, I know like uh I know Justin Desai is playing Bring Him Before Me. Uh really haven't seen any there's good in him today. Uh there was a lot last night at the team tournament though. Okay. <laughs> we should change our names around. Right. I didn't even update it when Worse was here, so apparently I really want to be Jerry today. Apparently. Oh, there's a Lando and Ray EPP Ray. Uh, didn't see the first, the first character card, yeah. though. I mean, that's going to be at least be, should be good to clear the Blizzard Four for sure. Yeah, uh, I'm a little bit more worried about that Maul though. Like, I don't know why he's going against the Blizzard Four. I mean, I know that it is. It's easy to get rid of, and you're not going to have any guys go away because of the lightsaber. Uh, it looks like it's a Luke. Okay, so it's Luke Skywalker. LSJK. Yeah, I mean, you start like my brother before me, so there should be, I would imagine, yeah. four or five Lukes in this deck. It's kind of weird. I mean, Leia's able to cancel that drain, and Hayes knows it, so why not go for the Maul, who's threatening a, drain, uh, a high drain? And there's a three from Hayes. I mean... Bill definitely drew high enough to get rid of that. He drew a four and a five, I believe. He's swinging at Tarkin. No, Tarkin was the destiny. Oh, Tarkin was the destiny. Okay. Yeah. So Tarkin's a three, and then, yeah, he drew... Yeah, that Blizzard four is definitely gone. Yeah. And Bill does not have to stack a card. But then one of his characters is going to die. So that's true, Berm. But... Six is okay for Luke Skywalker, I think. Yeah. So there goes the Blizzard 4, I assume. Maybe he's just uh, siding if he wants to lose. If he's going to lose the Luke. Interesting. Yeah, he's probably got another one in hand. Well, like I said, Leia's not doing anything at end. Plus, Luke right could now. just get snatched up if he deploys an Imperial there. Anyway. Oh, and he can play it again from his lost pile. Right. So... That's probably a fine enough play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since there's no Vader out, there's not a lot of incentive for him to get Luke no. captured just yet. <clears throat> you also get a minus two from the uh, Bring It Before Me objective if you use that to deploy it. Mm -hmm. That's what, for Chris Knudsen... Yeah, I, I understand that, but I mean, 
you're facing down a drain of three with that mall next turn. <clears throat> yeah. He'll have to divide his forces. Hayes is losing some overflow here, though. That's yeah. a decent amount of overflow. So that, was, that wasn't too bad. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so yeah, that was six guards or something like that that he lost in overflow in that battle. So it didn't yeah. go that horribly. I think it was six overflow, at least. So yeah, Bill does pull battle plan shield. Cause that would be a drain. Is that the more normal with lightsaber adds to drains, right? Mm-hmm. So that might be a drain of three if he wants to pay for it. I don't see why he wouldn't. Unless he's got something Oh, uh, there's another blizzard four. Uh Sith Fury's in there. Yeah, kind of just depends on whether he wants to battle Excuse or if he wants to drain. Looks like he is going to pay... Oh, he's just going to pay for Blizzard 4, so no drain. Blizzard 4 can go get him another character. Getting Thrawn. Looks like he has another Thrawn, or a Thrawn and a Tarkin. He goes with Tarkin, I think that was. Mm -hmm. So then he can just add another <coughs> Imperial and get two Destinies there. <laughs> it looks like this bring him before me deck is set up to battle a lot well I mean he's he can get three destiny or two destiny there just from emperor's power yeah if he gets Tarkin down now and then with another imperial which he does with yep, Vader there's Vader so now that's three destinies and it's going to cancel Lando's game text yep so that li limits him to one first strike comes out yep and Bill no, doesn't have anything understand. saved. It, Ryan, uh, get a get one of the Luke uh, Luke Rebel Hero from Casey. Yeah, I, I, I already showed it to him. No, yeah. The the stream. No, no, no. Uh, I owe you a, a Luke Rebel Hero. Casey got them. Oh, okay. I got you. I thought you were saying to like show it on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I showed everybody. <laughs> And there's a Vader Saber, so... Yeah, this, so this Vader is Saber bad cancels game text. Yeah, this, I mean, and Bill, if he does have a Hujix, won't be able to play it because no. he doesn't have anything saved. So, this could be bad. I mean, they have traded blows pretty fairly, but, because the Haze ate some overflow last turn, but Bill not being in a position to Hujix this turn could be bad for him because mm -hmm. it's going to be Destiny from Tarkin, Destiny from Ability, Destiny from Emperor's Well, no, power. Tarkin's not down there. Pretty sure he's on the Blizzard 4. Oh, okay. I thought it was Thrawn. It's it's either Thrawn or it's or it's Tarkin. I okay, so that's a four and a six. So, okay, so that was hitting Lando. Hit. Lando. Yep. This game text should be canceled, so Bill's only going to get one destiny. And yeah, you're right. That's going to be a lot of destiny. If for it's Hayes. if it's Tarkin, that's an extra destiny. And I suppose if it's Thrawn, then it's not. But well, like I said, either way, he could just lose a destiny for, or lose a card off the top of his reserve deck to right. add one. But Tarkin would add another one. Is what yeah. I'm saying. So it's either yeah. If, it, if he draws two destiny, then he's probably not Tarkin. It's Japanese Tarkin. That's yeah, what that's, I thought. Okay. And Bill draws. Thanks, guys. So yeah, he's gonna uh, have. He three. doesn't hit. Or no, he does hit. He drew a six and a one. He hit Vader. Yeah. Wow. He could force push, but now that now that Vader was hit, I don't think you see a force push. I, I still like that though. Because Lando doesn't draw. He's only power what five? Against nine six, plus six. destiny. Six. Plus two destinies. Yeah, that's not a bad play. I wonder if Hayes has the force for it. His force pile looks yeah, pretty he does. light. He's got two, because it's two yeah. to do force push. Uh, so right now it's power nine because of the four is clearing. He loses one. He's just drawing destiny, I think. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. He's not doing the force push. Yeah, I don't think he had two. I think he just had one saved for some reason. Okay. He's going to Sith Fury the Maul and draw another one, which is Thrawn. He draws him one. That's right. He's going to clear Ray. He's, he's hit Lando. Hayes probably loses Tarkin or Blizzard 4. He does draw the six, which helps, but... So I guess it would probably have to be Tarkin then because Blizzard mm -hmm. 4 doesn't cover 6. It only covers 5 as far as I remember. Well, I mean, Vader's been hit, so you got to lose but Vader. Yeah. And then you got to lose Tarkin first because he's on the Blizzard 4. Right. But I'm just, yeah, the Blizzard 4 wouldn't have if yeah. wouldn't have covered it anyway. So Tarkin and Vader 25 to 17. Healing. Peeled two and lost the characters in Blizzard Four stand by itself. Yeah, why not? If you can keep the presence there, <clears throat> that mm -hmm. seems like a pretty good turn. So then Hayes, <clears throat> yeah, he only had that one force left, so he couldn't have done the force push play. Yeah. <clears throat> so now Bill's going to have to respond to that, which is still basically the same thing he was responding to last time, where he cleared the Blizzard Four. Mm -hmm. So maybe he tries a different... Well, I mean, you could play Luke from your Lost Pile. You could play Luke from the Lost Pile. But he still deploy equal six because of the, like, my father before me yeah, so. um, reset. But still, yeah, I mean, at this point in the game, though, his his limited resources could be slightly limited if he still wants to be able to draw multiple yeah. destinies or swing lightsabers and what have you. So we'll see what Bill's got. There's Jyn Erso. Okay. Jyn Erso to cover up the Maul Drain. All right, Bill, what else do you I think that's... Is that it? Did he just recirculate? I think yeah. he did. So he went to Jyn Erso and recirculated. So now he's still threatening to cancel the, the Endor Drain with Leia. And that would put a Lando on top of his deck. And he canceled the Drain at um, Lord Maul's site with mm -hmm. the Jyn Erso. So Bill did okay there to, to limit some force loss, but he still just doesn't have any characters at Battlegrounds and is pushing through no damage of his own. So, Brian Fred, did you win? No. So you're two and one? All right, Brian Fred is just letting us know that he is two and one. So, good job, Brian Fred. He should have also, he should have been three and oh, but he two screwed, one, he screwed up. He screwed up one game. How did he you forgot, screw up? He forgot to pay for first strike, or to leave enough oh, to pay. Oh, that's right, yeah. To pay to play for my, uh, interrupt for my last file and get my first strike. Ah. <laughs> Well, well, stop listening to the other voices in your head. I tried to. Hey, B, could you, would you open up those doors? There's like no airflow. It's they like closed no automatically airflow. when the fire alarm went off. Yeah. It was quite scary. Did that eBay auction resolve itself? Are you talking to Brian Fred, Sean? Greg Shaw has a question for you. No, Sean. Not Greg Shaw. Sean. Oh, Sean. The pet peeves, Sean. Something about did that eBay auction resolve itself is what. Yeah, the person never paid. No, it apparently did not resolve itself. The person never paid. So there you go. Maybe <clears throat> maybe you could put that in the pet peeves thread. People who don't pay for their eBay auctions. <clears throat> All right, so Hayes Hunter will put I his know. Blizzard Four out you? of play using the maintenance text. Said so I owe you what? And a beer. Do you want the beer first, or do you want the money first? No worries, but no preference. <laughs> All right, so Bill's going to take his turn now. It was kind of strange that Hayes put his own Blizzard 4 out of play, but maybe he kind of wants to <clears throat> entice Bill to 
take over that Endor site mm-hmm. so he can retaliate? I'm not sure. That is a little interesting. Maybe he was just worried about a counterbeat, but it seems a little strange. Yeah, I think you're right. But, I All right, here comes Luke against Maul. Luke against Maul, that's interesting. I mean, Jin's there by herself. Jin's there. She's good to block that. (laughs) But if if Bill clears Hayes off of this site, then Hayes doesn't have any, you know. So I I can... Rather than trying to take over... And you know he's got a second one, though, because he Sith Furied it in the last battle. Oh, he's got Hera and Ahsoka and... Two Destiny with... Hira and Soka and Luke. Bill and plays escape pod. He's gonna grab the escape pod. Yeah. His reserve deck is a Yoda and, and a uh, couple speak. other cards. I think it was three cards total. So at least a couple good destinies in there. Yeah. They were mostly fours or so or higher. Bill's going to battle. And he can retrieve one, spend, or pay, spend one to retrieve one. Hayes does have the um, force push still. If he okay. can hit Hera and then exclude both of them, then the battle will end and he'll get rid of Hera. So Hera is hit. We'll see. He is reaching for his hand. Is he going to play the force push? Mm, yeah. It's like he's considering it for sure. Yeah, he's paying the two. Here comes the force push. <clears throat> so we're gonna exclude Lord Maul and Hera. So now the battle will end because there's no dark side characters who are in the battle anymore. He got yeah, I like that, that idea. Destiny, and now he, he can bring the counter beat <clears throat> for yeah. sure. Vader comes down, captures Luke, and then it's Vader and Maul versus Ahsoka next turn. Uh, we've got some coming. Thank you, though. He seems to have a lot of answers this game. He's pretty good at Star Wars, though. That Hayes guy. Yeah, he's won an event or two in his time. Yep. I want to say he won the last in-person event. I think you're right. But yeah, no, this makes the most sense. Like Vader coming down, you pl- you grab his saber from the lost pile with uh, "I am your father." You swing at. Ahsoka with her, or with that saber. You hopefully hit her, and then you're drawing two destiny with Emperor's Power. There's the force to pay for the Vader. Vader will escort Luke. Yoink. Vader is, or Vader says Luke is mine. Bill must have done something to verify his reserve deck. Hujix is in the reserve deck. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> so this could be this could be honestly the last turn we see. Uh, would not be surprised. Ahsoka's gonna get hit. Yeah. With the lightsaber, I assume, and then draw two destinies. I mean, they're both minus one, but 
but two deaths. Hayes and, certainly has something well, tracked by they're now. They're both minus one, and then they're both plus one because of uh, Maul. Well, Maul's not on the. Oh, yeah, I was right, right? Yeah. Sorry. And there's Vader Saber as well. Yeah, this is going to be really bad. <laughs> Hayes is going to grab the weapon shield. Yep. Just in case. Four fours four. Thrawn. Bill did use Does his escape pod and it got grabbed earlier, so maybe he was trying to find the Hujiks, but it was stuck in the force pile or something. Mm. So Thrawn also comes down. Shit. That's uh, that's not good for Bill. This could this no. like I said this could be the last turn. Like I would not be surprised if this battle goes poorly, for just a handshake to occur. No escape. And point man, that's a hit. Sliced, lose a card, Bill. Bill's got to lose a... Well, I guess if it was... Luke's Saber. Mm. If it was Maul's Saber, then it wouldn't necessarily yeah. be the case. No, no, Maul's Saber can't hit Ahsoka. Oh, because it's a permanent, right, okay. Lose a force to Emperor's power to add a destiny, or maybe he's just drawing it straight up. Maybe he's not getting greedy here. Oh, no, he's drawing two Destiny. Oh, wait, a seven Ooh. and a four. Which so turns a five. out to be... Uh, uh, They're four and a seven. Does it? Well, it subtracts one from Ahsoka, and it just becomes yeah, a six so Ahsoka and a three. tracks one. So it's nine And total. then Maul adds one, so they're just base. Maul adds to Battle Destinies? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it just, yeah, it's just the same. Yeah. There's a handshake, yeah. This yeah. one's over. Okay, I'm going to go grab Hayes, see if he wants to do an interview really quick. Okay, and then... Uh, Rob Maul. Are you cool if I... Yeah, go ahead, if you want to go grab him. Cool. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get Hayes on for an interview. Uh, and then I think Jerry's going to take a game off, and we'll see who wants to come on and help out with the stream. What? What? Nope, that is not mine. Mine's over there. M and M's. They're like the best food for uh, on planes. Like they're just. They don't. Huh? Okay, so yeah, we have uh, Hayes coming on for an interview. So. Hayes. So we don't interview Brian Fred. Yeah, two and one. No, it's, it's not three and L. Um, okay.
<laughs> okay, everyone. Uh, Hayes Hunter is now joining us, so uh, go ahead and put the headset on if you won't mind. Okay, and I will... Can you hear me? Am I audible? We're not yet audible. Now you should be audible. Am I audible? Can people hear me? Um, maybe it's the wrong headset. Okay, now you should be good. Now am I audible? Can people hear Hayes? It does not make sense for me to ask if they can hear me. I know, that's what, can yeah. Me. Can people hear you? Uh, can people hear Hayes Hunter? Can they hear you? Can you I hear think Dan? they can. I don't know, they're not. Barely. Not really. Uh, how about now? No? Probably just oh. from your mic. Oh, now we there we go. Yeah, Jerry right, so did uh, Jerry did something and didn't tell me about it, so I'm blaming Jerry. But uh, so here we have Hayes Hunter after that match. So let's go into that match a little bit. So you were playing Bring It Before Me versus a Let the Wookie Win type of a main deck. So uh, what was your game plan? Don't deploy Vader. Okay. And eventually, um, well, go for a battle where, like, I didn't have to draw a battle destiny. Mm -hmm. Like, leave him with some things for a counter beat purposes. Okay. Ideally, Luke. Like, like the preferable scenario is, like, he uses the Luke plant intending with the intention of forfeiting him, and then I, I don't draw, and then he gets Luke stuck at the site, which means I come back and I capture Luke and I beat down whatever's left over. That, that was my goal. Okay. And I noticed that you... Uh you tried to do that, it seemed like, with the Blizzard 4 to uh, to begin with. So you threw down the Blizzard 4. You had I it didn't down have there. to pay two for the, the guy. <laughs> I, was, I couldn't not do it. I had exactly six force, and I'm like, I can pay the maintenance and do this and get a guy. It was brilliant. So, it, he, didn't, so he didn't have the Golden Run shield he out. He did not play the shield. Interesting. So, uh, I, and then you put the, the Blizzard 4 out of play. What, what made I you do that? I didn't want a repeat of the last time I left the Blizzard 4 by itself. <laughs> That wasn't good. Like, I, I considered briefly going for the no escape off of the thing to mm -hmm. get my gick off the whole my last pile, but whatever. Like, the deck is super fun to play because it's Star Wars battles. Like, so much of the game right now is very stacky and very, uh, you do your thing, I do my thing, and mm -hmm. it's, it's not very interactive currently. Um, people tend to only initiate battle when it's extremely favorable. Mm -hmm. And I like the quick pressure of it. I like Star Wars battles. Like, battling is cool. Um, and you don't have to win by depleting their life force. Like, it happens. But, like, meh. Like, I'm okay with taking overflow if it puts me in good board position. Um, mm -hmm. Because all you need to f turn Luke is, like, well, if it's not Jedi Luke, it's two cards and a seven, which four loves us up. Okay. Right. You, you put down low destinies, and then you track mm -hmm. those, obviously, and you, you, you know, so the bottom of your deck is, like, seven that you put down on their turn, the one okay. that you put down on your turn, and then blank. So you hope that one blank is sufficient to lose the duel, and you flip the seven. And against mm -hmm. Jedi Luke, all I have to do is win three battles. I had three battles won. Yeah, so, I was going to say, so, and then, uh, so, so what is your game plan against, uh, game plan against like, OA? A deck that is more controlly, you know, doesn't it, really want to battle, wants to battle on its terms. Right, right, right. Well, um, I mean, obviously, I like to go and win battles because <laughs> that's what Brigham does. Um, you can always port, or you can just put Vader straight to the thing and start dueling. Because, like, initially, always destiny can be hit or miss. And the deck's destiny in that Brigham is, like, super high. It's, yeah. It's the size deck. I copied it. Like, it's a lot of fun. Um, he'll watch the replay and curse me because I drew a two. That that sniper dark strike and I couldn't do anything about it because it's not a character. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it, it, so I can actually apply fairly quick pressure. Obviously, mm -hmm. you don't duel them during the control phase, so they can't produce the force loss. But um, yeah, it's still a threat. I mean, a lot of OA decks have warped actually to like include an AO mm -hmm. to try to try to. Uh, um, you know, curtail the Emperor's power mm -hmm. and Newt with Maul and Pride and all the things that add all the yeah. destinies. So we're like, eh, what's... Well, I mean, Pride was a recent addition because we added Imperial Command for Thrawn who suspends OAs. So you can still go and drop three battle destinies with Maul at plus mm -hmm. one, two, three, you know. it's You still get a lot of first strike damage in and yeah. just, you know, it's, it's just fun to play. So let's go back. So that turn... Uh 
in that battle, you uh, use the force push, the first, that one battle, you use the force push to, after hitting, uh, was it? Uh, Hera. Hera. So you got rid of the Hera, Ahsoka was there, Luke was there, you had the Vader, clearly, and... Yeah, the turn prior, I, I mean, I, I was holding force push for most of the game. Yeah. The intention being, like, the best the best dude is, like, uh, the best guy to put out there is, like, uh, Jedi, or, or, like, a Dark Jedi Master, like, that gives mm -hmm. you a force icon, because the deck has limited force, but, um, no, I was holding it forever, because I'm like, this is this is my safety net. Like, that's the <laughs> other reason I didn't get the gig was because I'm like, I can just force push to safety. Yeah, so and that makes sense. Yeah, force push as an interrupt in battle is bonkers good. So, what are you running for light side right now? OA. OA? Also very similar. It, it copied the size OA deck that he was playing on Gimp, so I don't know how close or similar they are now. But it's so, what's your, you're currently sitting at 3-0? Yep. Well, good luck. Hopefully we'll see you in the top eight. Yep. And uh, you can be the reigning live person Star Wars champion. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just want today to be over so we can play some games tonight. Not Star Wars games. Not Star Wars games? Yeah. What, do you, what are you looking forward to playing? Avalon, 100%. Avalon? Yes. Well, I know we got Avalon. I know we got some other games. We got, we got a bunch of games to play tonight, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm ready for that, too. So, okay. Well, we'll be back with more coverage here in a little bit. So, uh, we'll stick around for game four. And then once that starts, we'll let, you, uh, we'll let everybody know.